Hey guys, you want a heated barn? Hey, this right up here. This video here, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it, how I've done it. Maybe it will help you out in your situation, so let's get into it. Hey guys, Eric here with Project DIY. In today's video, we're gonna talk about having a nice warm barn in the middle of winter. It could be 20 outside, and it's gonna be warm in here. May not be 70, probably could keep it that way, but we're not going to. But anyways, we're gonna keep it nice and toasty in here. That right there is what is gonna keep our barn nice and warm. It's gonna be warm in the winter time. So I'm gonna show you how I've hooked it up. I already hung it up there, did not film that. I done it by myself, it wasn't fun, but I got it up there. All right, so this is just a steel box, okay? All the way around there you can see there's a fan on the back, okay, it attaches to it. And then these louvers, I can change these to point the air in different directions. And then what you have on the inside here, let me see if I can open this up all the way so you can see. There is, this is like a radiator, it's a heat exchanger is all that is. So on the sides here, you can see I have my ports. There's a one inch port there, a one inch port here. We're gonna connect our lines to it. That will get hot. The fan will kick in on the back side. We'll push warm air out. So that way we can keep this space warm, but also the man cave. If you haven't been watching my videos, I have, it's been a little bit since I posted anything. I got some more coming out on that. But we're going to be able to keep that nice and warm so in the winter time we can go up there, do some things, and still have some fun, even in the winter time. And at the same time, it's going to keep this barn warm. Now, I'm not trying to keep it 70, but I mean, I can keep it at 50, 55, and when it's 20 outside, that's going to feel pretty warm. You're in here working. You don't want it 75 anyways. So, that is what we're going to be doing. So, as you can see over here, there's a bunch of kids' toys, but other than that, I have the white pecs and the blue pecs. Um... When I ran, let me shoot you a picture out there. So there's the boiler. We've been, if you haven't watched my video on how to put on a pump, we just put the pump on the back side of that, connected our lines and everything. We trenched all the way around here. I drilled some holes down in the floor here. Let's see if you can see. I drilled some holes down there when I done this, ran the lines up through it last year sometime because I knew I was going to be doing this. So I have a water line, the blue one there with the cap, that's a three quarter inch water line. I went ahead and put that in there. So eventually we're gonna have water out here. And these here are the two one inch lines. So the white is going to be the hot. I got white because at the time when I done this, they didn't have a long enough hose or a long enough pipe and red and white, or I'm sorry. They didn't have enough long enough PEX coils in blue and red. And I didn't want to splice it out there in the middle. So I went ahead and got white cause I could get it long enough. So one of them down there is not very long so we're going to connect the blue to that that will be the cold going out which like i have said before it is not cold it is just not as hot as it is coming in and then the white will be our hot coming in so what we're going to do when we connect these i'm not sure what i'm going to do yet i'm either going to go I'll either go straight off of that with a like a coupling or i'll put a 90 degree elbow on these i don't know i have them running out through here I don't know, I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna come straight up and over or if I'm gonna kinda of go back and around. Cause if I go back and around, I'll probably put the 90s on it so that way I can spin them that way and tee straight in. But if I come across, I will put the coupling on. So I haven't decided yet. Either way, they go on the same way. You just push them on. I'm using the shark bite fittings. Some say they don't work. Whatever you wanna do, okay? I use the shark bite fittings. I've never had any issues with them. You can solder it, guess what? If you solder it and you don't do a good job, you're gonna have just as much problem. So, take your pick, okay? There's always a chance for something to happen. So, if you're a solder person, solder, solder, whatever you wanna call it, if you're that kind of person, then you do a go right on head. Otherwise, put a shark bite on there. Works just as well, and for me, it's way quicker. I don't like to sit and solder it, because for me, I have more air. If I'm gonna solder it, me personally, I feel like I got more chance of having an issue than I do if I just put that sharp bite on. Biggest thing, you have to make sure that they get seated well. Do not go and just, oh, well, it, it pushed in. Well, it's got to fully seat. They're gonna push in probably, I, I would say a solid three quarters of an inch, maybe an inch, they're gonna push into that fitting when you do that. So make sure they're seated well and you will not have any problems. Let's get into this and we'll figure out how we're gonna do it. And I'll show you guys what's going on all right there we have it we have got our hot which is the white coming in i ended up putting a 90 on here let's get up here that's another nice thing about these pexes see how they move you can move it it doesn't much now but you can it will rotate on there even though it's attached and locked on so we got our hot on 
Got our coat on the top side. I'll pick up one more insulator piece on there. We got it insulated from there. Got it insulated down here. Like I said, it's gonna be plenty hot. All right, one other thing I wanna show you guys. This here has, I have a thermostat with mine, okay? So here's my thermostat. I have it set for 43 at the bottom. It's a warm day today. It's 61 in here. Let's see if that thing's focusing. It's got a glare on it. But this is a, what they call like, I believe is an inline thermostat. So what I do is that, that piece there syncs with this. It gives the instructions when it comes with it. So that piece syncs with it. And then I just plug my line. This is the line that turns on my fan, okay? Right here, it's running from the fan down to there. And what I have, there's in between, I have it rigged right now because I could not find the pieces. I'm still trying to find that. There's little bitty ones that you just plug on and these are so small, I haven't been able to find them anywhere. But regardless, I got it rigged so it's working. So this is an on off on switch, okay? So you have speed one, then off, and then speed two. So what I do is I've plugged that in, let it sync with this thermostat, and then I plug my line into that, turn it on. That way, anytime I have it set for 43, so when it gets to 43, 42, however it has it set, when it will kick on, it will kick my fan on. It will blow hot air out of this until my temperature gets above 43, 44, whatever, whatever it has it set that it kicks it off, then it will kick that off. That way this fan is not just sitting here running and running and running and it gets 80 in here. It's a thermostat that keeps that in here so it's good. You know, so like I said, it gets too, it's really cold. Obviously it's gonna run more. Like today's a warm day. It's not running at all. There's no sense in it running because it's got a 61 in here right now and I have it set for 43. So there's no sense that even running. So that is a very nice thing. This here come with this unit I bought, come with it. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below where I bought this. I bought it off eBay. I believe they are called Free Heat For You. This is a 150,000 BTU unit. Probably bigger than I need, but I just wanted to make sure it was enough and then it come with the thermostat as well this inline thermostat which is pretty sweet i don't have to run no wires nothing i just plug that in let it sink do its thing gives you the instructions on all of it and you are ready to go so i want to show you guys out there that's how i have it rigged up got everything else on here so now this winter we have a nice warm barn and for the cats that are in here they have a nice warm barn okay so Guys, I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you would, subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up, okay? That helps us a lot. Get the videos out, people to see it, share the videos. We appreciate y'all watching. Thanks for your support. And if you would, hey, go check out all my merchandise. I got one of mine on now, one of my hoodies. There's all kinds of different stuff that I have on there. So if you would, go check that out. Appreciate y'all. And remember, as always, why hire a guy when you can DIY? Thanks for watching. All right, guys, check out some of the different shirts I got here. In the description below, I'll put a link to where you can go to the store. That way you can check some of these out. You can get them in your size. There's even some of them that are in kid sizes and toddler sizes. This one here has got a little bit of writing on the back. The other ones, all the writing is on the front. So guys, if you would, check that out. You know what, you can wear some of this merchandise. Some of it's stuff about construction or whatever, and some of it's just comedy, kind of like the one I have on. Has to do with construction with a bubble in and level, but you know what, you want the bubble in the middle, right? Guys, appreciate it. Thanks for watching.